So let me get this straight. <laughs> I'm supposed to say Devin Haney won because he's black. That's what we're doing now. That's what we are. Do you know how ignorant that makes you look? So let me guess. Every time you watch Rocky IV, you say Apollo Creed beat Ivan Drago. He was black, right? He won that fight. Deontay Wilder knocked out Tyson Fury, right? Because he was black. Oh, I forgot uh, Tyson Fury cheated. Uh, let's see. <laughs> the things I'm hearing just, I mean, it's so far out in left field. It's just absolutely ridiculous. We're in 2023. And people are more ignorant and brainwashed than ever. I'm going to start passing out quarters for the dryer because you guys is brainwashed. I was listening to an interview by Pauli Malinaji, and I know you're going to say, oh, he's racist. But he was saying he took a screenshot and he was showing how the odds change mid-fight because everybody was saying that Loma was winning. And, you know, stuff kept switching and stuff like that. He also said two days before the fight, Devin Haney renewed his contract with Top Rank. Y'all need to go check out a platform called Saint AVS. He breaks down what was really going on in the spiritual world. Christian versus Muslim. Followers of the way. We always win that battle. Always. And the thing that's crazy for people to keep, you know, saying that, well, Devin Haney won. How can you win when you get outlanded? How can you win when the other guy threw more shots? How is that? Uh, how is everybody at, in the building, you know, wrong? Oscar De La Hoya, former fighter, watched it up close and personal. He scored it eight to four. Timothy Bradley went and rewatched the fight, and he said it's something like, if you scored it eight to four, you need to stop watching boxing. Really? It's crazy to hear all the different things going on, you know. You get called a sellout or Uncle Tom unless you keep saying the black man won. Y'all sound stupid as all get out. That just, um, wow. That just doesn't make any sense. Even if you thought Devin Haney won, how's that make you a sellout because you thought Lomachenko won? Make it make sense. So anytime uh, a football team loses, what do you say then? Because there's blacks and whites on both teams. What do you say? Who, who's at fault then? So if Aaron Rodgers happens uh, to beat, uh, what's his name, that uh, quarterbacks for the Ravens. I don't know how I forgot his name. Anyway, if uh, Aaron Rodgers happens to beat him, then um, – I'm supposed to say, nah, Aaron Rodgers didn't win. He didn't win at all. He was white. <laughs> and uh, like I was saying before, most of y'all, I'm sure, haven't done a DNA check. I'm sure you're not even pure black. So for you to be so pro-black and militant all of a sudden, and you don't even know what you are. You guys are really exposing yourselves. You were wanting Devin Haney to win. And you're happy you won, and it's us against them, and all that nonsense. And then you turn around and marry a white girl. Make it make sense. Y'all sound crazy as all get out. But I saw even footage where Bob Arum told some. He told uh, Lomachenko something like it was a one-sided fight. That's what. That's what. Uh, Bob Aram said, and uh, it was just some interesting things I've been hearing, you know, and I guess it's going to keep happening ever since the Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder massacre, I guess. Uh, now, anytime a black man says that a white man won and we don't agree with the narrative that the white man cheated, then all of a sudden we're sellouts makes absolutely no sense at all 
It makes no sense. I know uh, a lot of people smoking uh, weed these days. They must be putting some real strong chemicals in that stuff because y'all sound like a bunch of zombie media cats right now. Zombies. You don't know what you're talking about at all. At all. I feel like I'm forgetting to say something because I, I had a lot to say about this issue, but it is just so uh, nonsensical, you know, people going to showbiz, you know, saying he sold out. Stop. Stop. And half you militant dudes would not be saying this to people up close and personal. You just don't have that kind of heart. You're uh, full of estrogen, for one, because um, as a man, you shouldn't be getting uh, that emotional to where you want to call somebody a sellout because they said the uh, guy from the other race won. It's okay to have a fighter you support, but to try to pull out the race thing, really? Every time a black fighter loses, it's racial now. That's what we're doing. And why even watch? If you already know who should win and they're going to win, why even watch? Why bother, you know, because uh, the black man can't be defeated. I cannot be defeated. <laughs> Anyways, the J. Roos theory. If you like the video, make sure to subscribe, comment, and all that stuff. LSR forever. And be fearless. Yay, yay.